Hello, welcome back. So today I'm here to share with you a new purchase I got from Amazon making the uh, 12 monthly payments without interest. And I decided to get an electric die cutting machine. And it the one I got was the Jover Maker Electric A4 die cutting and embossing machine. It is $179.99 and I got it on sale for $159.99. Uh, at the time of making this video, uh, it's not on sale, but I don't think this video is going to be posted for a little bit. So definitely feel free to check it out to see if it's on sale again. I will post a link to it down below. Also, I will warn you, it is heavy, okay? It's really heavy. And this is what it looks like. Ah, we almost smashed Cornelius and Aurelia. Let's move them out of the way. So this is what it looks like. Looks like we have a power button. And I'm assuming these buttons move the, tra the trays in and out. And that's the all that we got. And then we have our power cord. So that's that. And then we've got... Let's see if I can hold this on my lap. Why? This is 12 inches wide. About eight and a, let's see, about eight and a half inches tall and six inches deep. And then here are our plates. We have, this is a magnetic sheet. These are uh, about 12 and a half inches long by um, about eight and a half inches wide. So we have a magnetic sheet. Some tissue paper in between. This is a silicone mat. We have a metal shim. Our we have two plates. This is a Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. This is a three millimeter plate. This one is also a three millimeter plate. And this one is a five millimeter plate. And then we've got this bag full of items. I hope there's a little instructions in here on the sandwich plates. Let's see. Yes, here we go. That's what this information looks like in case you want that. General maintenance and safety, what's in the box, the machine, five millimeter transparent cutting plate, and two three millimeter transparent cutting 
plates, a magnetic sheet, the stainless steel sheet, two embossing folders, two cutting dies, 10 card stocks, and the power cord. Set up instructions. Press the on off button for three seconds. Press the pause forward button twice. Insert the plate sandwich appropriate to your project as shown. The rollers, pull the combination through the machine. Do not overload the machine. Pull out the plate sandwich at the back of the machine after the motor stops. So we have the power button, the pause forward button, and the reverse button. Plate combinations. All right, good. That's what I was wanting for embossing 2.2 millimeter, for embossing 3.2 millimeter, for die cutting easy, for die cutting complex, for embossing using a die, for fabric, additional plate combinations, and troubleshooting. And there's a warranty. All right, so let's check these out. So we got, looks like a couple embossing folders here. If I can figure out how to get into this. I'm like, why can't I find the edge? I can see the edge, but I can't seem to grab it. <laughs> and each one of these are wrapped in a little sleeve. So we've got Like tree branches with maybe um, little flowers or maybe little cherry blossoms. I don't know if you can see that. And we got some butterflies and swirlies. And then we've got this die set with flowers and leaves and butterflies. And we've got letters, which this would have been great um, for when I did the Book of Spells page for the recent hashtag RTC season. Um, I would, I was, <laughs> I would have really loved to have this to cut out little gold letters to spell out Book of Spells for my little book cover I made. We have capital and lowercase, so that's awesome. And then we've got some cardstock. Two whites, two sky blues, two light greens, two pinks, and two tans. So let's go ahead and check it out using the items they sent. This back up here. Okay. Man, this baby really is heavy. Just giving you that heads up. But if I can find a place to set it up where it lives permanently, I won't have to worry about how heavy it is. And for me, uh, with my condition, my joints hurt all the time. And then when I do certain things, it causes a lot more pain. And for me, die cutting really causes a lot of pain. Um, so I really hate to do the die cutting. Hence, why I another reason why I love my die cut swaps that we do because um, then I get a lot of extra die cuts that I didn't have to worry about cutting out. All right, so let's start with an embossing folder. Let's do our butterflies. Now, I don't know how to tell 
how thick this is. I'm not really sure how to tell how thick this is for the instructions for the uh, let's go with blue for the sandwich. I'm going to cut this a piece of paper down real quick. We're going to use the blue. wrong with my scissors there we go now we're cutting kind of totally mangled the edge of that paper <laughs> I don't know what happened with my scissors there all right let's look and see our plate combinations for embossing oh I see so this one says you can use the cutting plate, then a magnetic sheet, then the embossing folder with the paper inside and another three millimeter cutting plate or two three millimeter cutting plates with just the embossing folder, no magnetic. We don't really need the magnetic sheet. Let's try it with just the two plates in the embossing folder and see what happens. We'll, it's going to probably maybe take a little trial and error to figure out, you know, get the hang of this machine and the uh, sandwiches. So let's go ahead and turn our power on. Did it turn on? Did I accidentally hold it too long and it turned off? There we go. So our power is on. This is what we'll press when we stick it in. Let's set up our, so we're going to use two three millimeter plates. Well, I don't have room on my desk for how wide these are. Let's see. I think it just started to. All right, we press this twice. And now it's going through. And I'm gonna move it over here. And it did emboss it, but lightly. I don't know if that's the embossing folder. So on this edge, it's a lighter embossing and right here. So let's try it again and we'll add the magnetic sheet. This time, let's try it with our other. Well, no, we won't. We'll do the exact same thing so we can compare. So now this time, and then let me hold this up. I don't know if I held this up clearly. So you can see it embossed well here, but then you can see over to this side, the embossing is much lighter, much shallower, and right here, and then a little bit at the top. So now we're gonna try adding the, um, magnetic sheet and see if that is what we need a little more thickness to our sandwich.
can tell you one thing, it's not hurting my joints to do this. All right. Okay, so do I need to press this twice before every time? It doesn't bother me just because I I really want this so I don't have to have the pain from die cutting but maybe don't want to do it when people are asleep and so okay again this is much fainter over here so that might actually be the design of this embossing folder so we will try with an, one of our bossing folders, embossing folders next. Let's compare the blue and the green. Oh my gosh, I didn't put the metal, the magnetic. All right, I got this one cut out now. And let's add the magnetic sheet, like it suggested, for this other um, sandwich for embossing. Let's push our button twice. did this time. I did leave an impression in the magnet. Oh yes, look at that. That came out much better. So for this thickness of um, embossing folder, which I can't really tell you how thick it is, um, but this is a, th a th an embossing folder that's on the thinner side, okay? Um, I definitely have thicker embossing folders, so this is a thin one. Then I do want to use the magnetic sheet because as a reminder, this is how the first one turned out. And this is how it turned out much more pronounced with the magnetic sheet. So that works great. As you can tell, there is some noise. It is noisy. Um, that doesn't bother me personally. And then let's do some die cuts. How about our butterflies? First, let's read. What am I little? I buried my booklet under the papers. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. For die cutting easy or complex? Well, let's start with the easy and we're just gonna be using a magnetic sheet. What is this silicone for? Do we want the magnetic sheet or do we want the silicone? Because it's not telling us where we use our silicone at. None of those sandwiches use the silicone. None of these sandwiches have that silicone sheet. Rubber embossing mat. Huh, rubber embossing mat. Okay, well that's fine. I will figure that out. Maybe one of you guys know. Here it is, I just found it. I missed it though, totally. That's for embossing using a die. Okay, interesting. So we're gonna try that too. So let's start with the easy die cutting. We're gonna use a five millimeter plate. So let's get that out. All right, we've got a five millimeter plate. Next, we use our magnetic sheet. Next, we put our paper. Next, we put our die. these ones where it doesn't come off easily. There we go. It was ripping when I tried to pull it the other way and I was like, I have a die set where I cannot get that tape off of the die and the paper and it drives me nuts. <laughs> there we go. a three millimeter cutting plate on top. And then if it's a more complex die, you can add the steel sheet to the mix. Let's see. You don't really wanna cut into the magnet. They have it like this, but then you would be cutting into the magnet. What if, and I don't wanna cut into the magnetic sheet. What if we, I'm trying to figure out. Maybe if we do it this way. I did see a thing recently where you were supposed to put your dies facing up. I always put them down in the cutting sheet underneath. But I'm trying to figure out how you do it with this on the... Um, There we go. So that way it's cutting into the paper and the cutting mat and not into the magnetic sheet. 
Let's try this. I was assuming you would use this silicone mat maybe for underneath it. I'm not sure. So it definitely cuts into the plate. We we'll definitely cut out our pieces. I mean, you're not supposed to cut into the magnetic sheet, are you? That would ruin it, right? Please let me know down below. <laughs> I'm confused at how they have the order of this. As they show the dies, you put the paper, then the dies, face with the cutting part down, so where it's going to cut into your magnetic sheet. Man, this cut's really great. And I definitely did not need to add the metal shim to this one. So it works great. And these particular dies work great as well. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to clean these out real quick. We are going to try these using the embossing with a die cut, with a die, next. All right. Let's move these out of the way. So for embossing, We have our five millimeter cutting plate on bottom. That's what we got. Next, we want our silicone sheet, our rubber mat, it calls it. Then we want to put our paper. our die and then a three millimeter cutting plate so I assume we put our die this way so that it's not cutting into it because we're trying to emboss using a die cut and we're not trying to cut it so I'm putting the cutting facing up press my button twice and, whoa, look at that. It just slid. My, um, it's already warped from these first two times of using it. I'm trying to keep this from moving.
that totally stretched that rubber out while it was doing that. But my die did move. This is what that looks like. I did kind of cut through a little bit. Interesting. You can even see the images from where it's been cut on the plate. That's interesting. I might play with that more. It's not something I really want to use right now. But, so it definitely works really well. Just figuring out these, the right sandwiches is going to be the main thing. Um, it is a little loud and it is heavy, but it definitely does the job and it works well. And it's going to save some joint pain for me from doing the die cutting. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I will give you guys an update after, you know, a couple months or so, you know, once I've gotten to use it more and figure things out a little more and see if other things come up or, you know, just let you know if it's still working well after a couple months and anything that I have figured out with it. So uh, let me know. Uh, down below your opinions and what you're thinking your thoughts on the different things the sandwiches and how to place them i hope that you guys all have a great day and i'll see you soon bye